Hey everyone, Alex Camilio here, and this week I want to talk to you about your websites. So for the last 20 years, agents have generated leads and contacts from their website. Well, at least they've been told for 20 years that they're able to generate leads from their websites. But I can tell you from experience, uh, even in websites all over North America for the last decade plus now, um, that doesn't always happen. You know, you put out a website, maybe even send some traffic to it, but for some reason, you're not getting the contacts, you're not getting the leads that you want from all that work that you put into putting your website up. Well, today I want to go over a few of the things that might be causing that uh, and give you some ideas on what you can improve. And most times, if you're sending traffic to a site and it's not converting, it's not giving you leads, a lot of times that has to do with the contact form itself, the page where you're actually getting people to give up their contact information. And I have four big tips to go over. Um, big thanks to Chris LeBurge for submitting this week. Um, and, and authoring the article for us. Huge thanks. Um, so he submits these four tips and, and I'm going to give these four tips to you. Now these four tips are first of all, add a headline and an image above the form. I can't tell you how many times we see forms out there that, well, mm, don't do too much or don't tell you what you're getting or you don't really know what you're signing up for and they're just sort of blank forms. So always having a headline and image, but make sure that you are calling attention to what you're giving away, what these people are getting by giving your con by giving you their contact information because unless they're getting something, they're not going to give up their contact information to you. Now, step number two is be very, very basic about the information that you are requesting from people. Now, most cases, this looks like first name, last name, email as required fields, and then maybe adding a phone number as an optional field beyond that. But if you start trying to get into, you know, uh, getting people's physical address and getting people all sorts of information about people right off the jump, the more information you try to get from someone, the less likely they are to give up that information to you. So start small, get a bit of information from them, and then get more information from them as time goes on, because you, you want to make sure you get that contact to begin with. Now, number three is this. Now, I said keep it simple, but you might want to add one or two extra questions, but you need to be very specific about these questions and I'll give you an example. You want to make sure that the one or two questions that you're adding beyond the basics are two things. One of which it helps qualify them. It helps gives you a better idea of how you can work with them. And two, ideally it offers them even more value and I'll give you an example of what I mean. At the end of this form, first, last, email, phone number, add one extra question which is, would you like to receive my free report or my free whatever it is of X? Now, one of those reports is a buyer report. One is a seller report. One might be an investor report. Now, this is optional, obviously, but if they pick one of those things, you've just given them more value and they've just told you a piece of information about themselves. And that's a huge exchange right there. So adding those one or two extra optional questions, don't go overboard with it, but one or two where you're giving away value to get more information is really, really key. And last but not least, number four, fourth tip, use the... If, Use the thank you page effectively. I'm going to say that again. Use the thank you page effectively. Don't just say, oh, thank you for, for contacting us or thank you for your information and that's over with. The thank you page should have more contact information, more ways to get in touch with, more information for them that they can explore about you. It's also an opportunity to, to offer another giveaway. Give something to people that, you know, is more value because at this point you're still building that character. You're still building the person that they that they want to work with when they're giving up that lead. So those are four, four big tips on making sure that any form, any contact form you have out there will convert. 
And I'll tell you this, if you put all those things in place and the contact forms still are not working for you, you're not getting the leads that you want, it might be a time to look at how much traffic you're sending and how you're sending people to the website. And that's a whole other article in and of itself, but for today we wanted to make sure and cover the best ways to capture contacts when it comes to any sort of form, contact page, landing page where people are giving up their information. I hope this has been super helpful. This is Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure if you haven't already, you like our page, you follow the group. The group is actually really awesome. There's amazing stuff. Not that everything else isn't, but the group is just going crazy right now. Um, check out our website. Check out the post on the website. Uh, there is a ton of content out there. You've heard this before. I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much. Alex Camilio from Agent Inner Circle, signing out.